Let's take a look at some limit examples now. So limit is x tends to infinity of e to the negative x square root of x. So our goal, again, is to think about each of these parts and how are they either working together or working opposed to one another. So e to the negative x, when x is going to infinity, we have e to the negative infinity, right? So we think that is going to be going to 0, okay? So if we think about what what e to the negative x looks like, is it looks like this function here, x goes to infinity, this goes to 0. But this piece here is going to go to infinity. So 0 times infinity, that's one of our indeterminate forms. So what we have is we have multiplication. So we cannot apply L'Hopital's rule. We need to have a fraction. So we'd like to figure out how do I turn this into something that has a numerator and a denominator. Now this, hopefully, you're like, well, can I just do something with e to the negative x? That's exactly what you want to do. If there's an easy choice of what could go on the denominator, absolutely, go ahead and put that there. So this becomes the limit as x tends to infinity of, this becomes the square root of x divided by e to the x. Now this is indeed a fractional form. Now you can always recheck if you want L'Hopital's rule. Here we have infinity over infinity. You will never just solve or get rid of the indeterminate form. You're just going to change the type of indeterminate form as you rewrite these using algebraic manipulations. So now we apply L'Hopital's rule. So we take the derivative of the top. Well, we take the limit as x tends to infinity. The derivative of the top is going to be 1 over 2 x to the negative 1 half. The derivative of e to the x, we said, is just e to the x. So now we just rewrite this because we know negative exponents, those can be down on the bottom. So this becomes the limit as x tends to infinity of 1 over 2 times the square root of x times e to the x. Now the numerator is going to 1, the denominator is going to infinity. All This is going to 2, this is going to infinity, that's going to infinity. Whole thing is going to infinity, so that makes this whole thing go to 0. So there we go. So that's one of the strategies we have of dealing with an indeterminate form that is not a fraction, but we want to use L'Hopital's rule. Here, limit as x goes to 0 from the right, this is going to 0, and we know natural log, that looks like the following. So as x goes to 0 from the right, this is going to negative infinity. 0 times negative infinity, that's an indeterminate form. So we'd like to manipulate this. Now, this does not, it doesn't look as easy of how we turn this into a fraction. However, we're going to use this property that really I could turn any number into a fraction. Now, you know, obviously, for instance, x, this could be a fraction as x over 1. But that doesn't help us. Putting 1 on the denominator doesn't do anything for us. However, I could now use this weird thing that if I kind of go in the opposite direction of what we normally would do, this could be 1 divided by 1 over x. right? Because we know what if we have 1 divided by, say, a fraction, we're going to take the reciprocal of this and multiply the numerator by that. So this is exactly the same thing as x. So I'm going to rewrite this using that. So this is going to be the limit as x tends to 0 from the right, natural log of x divided by 1 over x. So in general, this is the trick that you're going to want to do many times. Whenever, if you have a natural log and you have something else, keep the natural log on top. Don't try to move the natural log on the bottom. It's going to get real ugly. Move, every, move the other thing, if you can, to the bottom. So now, again, you could check if you wanted to the indeterminate form. This is just negative infinity over infinity. Still an indeterminate form. So now we apply L'Hopital's rule, and we take the limit as x goes to 0 from the right. The derivative of natural log is 1 divided by x. The derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared. This, you do L'Hopital's, or you take the limit at this point, you're going to get infinity over negative infinity. But we can rewrite this and make this easier now. I take the limit as x tends to infinity of 1 over x times a negative x squared over 1. Or in other words, this is just simply the limit as x tends to 0 from the right of negative x squared over x. 0 over 0, but do L'Hopital's rule or just cancel whatever you want to do. Cancel out one of these powers. You get the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of negative x, which is just simply 0. 
So there we go. So that indeed is our um, strategy of dealing with this multiplication. Try to turn it into some type of fraction. All right, so now this, the limit is x goes to infinity of negative x natural log of x. This piece is going to negative infinity. So as x goes to infinity, negative x goes to negative infinity. Natural log of x, we know that's going to infinity. So if I have negative infinity times infinity, this is not an indeterminate form. We know what this limit is. These are working together. We're making the number get super, super, super big, but positive times a negative is negative. So this limit is equal to negative infinity. So make sure you know what is an indeterminate form and what isn't because you don't want to apply L'Hopital's rule unless it is an indeterminate form. If it's not an indeterminate form, you will run into major issues if you try to do L'Hopital's rule when you're not supposed to. This one here now, limit as x goes to zero from the right. This base is going to zero and this is going to infinity. So if we look at zero to the infinity, was this on our list of indeterminate forms? Well, it, it wasn't, but there's other indeterminate forms that I didn't give you on the list. However, the intuition that we want to be thinking of is that as we approach each of these pieces, could we possibly get different limits at the end? So as our number, as our base is getting closer to zero and we're raising that to higher and higher powers, could we get something besides one number? Well, no. So zero, if this was actually zero, zero raised to any power, zero raised to some larger powers is going to be zero. Any number close to zero is also going to have power, higher powers going the whole thing to zero. So this is one where these are again working together, no L'Hopital's rule, no indeterminate form. This limit is simply equal to zero. So just be careful, make sure you know when to apply L'Hopital's rule, when not to apply, and making sure you know this trick. Because when we deal with the exponential forms, we're gonna be using these tricks of turning things into fractions.